Hello, and welcome to Backseat Gamer, the show that asks the question, what exactly is a poop smith? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. It's a smith that poops. And Jason Amherst. Look out for the poop smith. The poop smith. Oh, no, it's that sneak. You know, uh, that, that game is actually, like, free to download, I think, on the Internet Archive. Oh, the Strong Bad game? Abandoned Wear. Yeah. It's a pretty fun point-and-click. It's like Strong Bad's yeah. game for attractive people or whatever, or something like that. I forget what it's... Something like that, yeah. Some, totally some, cool game for attractive that's people. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. Is it, isn't it like episodic? I think it's in episodes, right? Yeah, it's like five episodes. Okay, that's what I thought. That's something I'll put on the consideration list for the show. Yeah, because it was done by uh, it was done by uh, Telltale back in the day. Right, it was like their first game almost. One of the one of the earliest ones, yeah. I love that the AI characters are. Intelligent enough to duck. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Really adds a level of realism in this game that I did not expect. What is this? Is this. Oh, Power so, Shield. Uh, oh my gosh. I didn't know I, I think could I need to go that. to the Nintendo Museum just because there is a whole section in the museum's gift shop dedicated to the Virtual Boy. Oh shit. Mm. That's pretty damn impressive. Yeah. They also have massive $90 plushes of their controllers there. Considering I could, like, literally hold the entire Virtual Boy library in the palms of both of my hands. And... Oh, on, the, on, on your right, uh, you will see the Virtual Boy. It gave everybody who played it splitting headaches, Spr uh, except the Jason, except the Jason Amherst. He he was fine. Splitting <laughs> headaches. Very true. Very very true. I literally sat down and played Wario Land for about like three hours straight, and was just like, "How the hell did people get headaches from this thing?" We actually played Virtual Boy Wario Land on MVG Live, I think back in the day although we didn't play it with the red on i think i put a purple filter on it so it was a little easier on the eyes but i i played on an actual virtual boy years ago uh when i had found one at marissa's house and because uh, it was her brother's and i just i bought batteries jammed it in the thing right away and i was like let's let's fucking go and i played the thing for like three hours straight and it's just like, are you okay? And I'm like, perfectly fine. <laughs> like, your eyes aren't bothering you? Nope. Looks up. Seriously? Looks up, yep. sees, sees Matrix code everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, that game was so good and never got re-released. Yeah, Wario Land, what Virtual hell? Boy Wario Land is really good. It's one of the few... D good games on the Virtual Boy. They're, most of them are hit or miss. That one's pretty good. Um, Jack Brothers is decent, although I don't know why it needed to be on Game Boy. Or Virtual Boy, I should say. Yeah, Jack Brothers is another good one. Ooh. Interesting ROM hack being produced right now. Oh. Star Fox CD. So uh, this hack will use the MSU1 chip for CD quality music, hence the title, and eventually the Super FX3 th uh, chip and SNES Rumble controller designed by L Randy Linden. The SNES Rumble controller that's going to be used with the Super FX3 chip that's being used in the Doom cartridge that's being produced by Limited Run Games. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh shit, grenade launcher, nice. That's fucking sweet. Get to the door, there we go, Jesus. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Alright. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Up this way. Yeah. Get That's it. Fuck. Well, this is getting ridiculous. What's that? Uh, apparently, Kamala's uh, campaign office in Arizona was damaged by gunfire. Hmm. Same office was shot at a week prior as well. So now everybody's just trying to assassinate all presidential candidates. I think that's yeah. essential. People are going just bad shit insane. Yeah. This, if do you want do you want to have like fucking presidents being appointed? Because this is how you have presidents being appointed. When it's not mm -hmm. when it's not safe for them to campaign and go out on the trail and do and do do their do the dirty work as 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 candidates, if it gets too bad, they'll just be like, "No, nope, we're just gonna appoint a president and sequester them, and you can all go fuck yourselves." It's true, and that's how you turn the U.S. into basically Soviet not Russia. Not. Yeah, basically Soviet Russia. At that point, you're heading there. You don't want to get there, but you're heading there. Power core. Oh, oh that's uh, a pyramid key. Nice. The uh, Vince McMahon uh, documentary is out on Netflix. Yeah, I saw that it was. I haven't seen it, obviously, but and apparently. Apparently, Vince McMahon made a statement like, "Oh, this is not who I am." Yeah, I yeah. I, 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 this is not who I am. I actually just sit on women's faces. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> what? I only pee on women. What the hell? Some yeah. interesting things. Uh, Bret Hart and Vince McMahon talking about the punch from uh, Bret to Vince. Uh, probably the best thing I ever did, and he deserved every bit. Uh, Vince said that night I'm limping around and like, oh my God, stars are all over the place in terms of my head. Pretty good concussion. That was the Montreal screw job as it was called. And to this day, I don't regret any of it. Okay. Woof. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Hulk Hogan said the government forced him to testify against Vince McMahon during the steroid trial. Uh, after I left WWE, the government wanted me to be their star witness. I was told that if I didn't say what I, they wanted to hear, the target of the investigation would be directed to me, and I might do 17 years. Uh, well, Vince now, McMahon, see, here's the thing, though. It's Hulk Hogan. Yep. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, uh, Vince says Hulk broke his heart when he went to WCW. Okay. Uh, Bruce Pritchard didn't believe the t accusations made against Pat Patterson right after Tony Atlas said he would grab his pecker. Does that surprise you? Doesn't surprise me. Nope. Yeah. Like, yeesh. Yeesh kabibbles. Pyramid. I, I I just can't wait to watch it because apparently it's a double shovel burial of Vince McMahon. Good. I mean, he's kind of double shovel burying himself. At the, but 
Honestly, like, he, he kind of has it coming. Yeah, it's true. Oh, he said in an interview that he had three brains and that one of them, you know, it's like three computers running at once. And oh. one of them was always thinking about sex. And I was like, wow. Why am I not surprised? I mean, considering the amount of times that he was on screen making out with the divas. How yeah. could I get my dick wet today? I know, I'll make out with me. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you know what? That's too that's too horrible even for me. Instead I'll make out with Pat Patterson. Yeah, die. Died. Any other bullshit from that documentary that we ought to know about? <laughs> uh, that's it so far. Oh, the whole they didn't release all the episodes at once? Uh, well, I mean, that's all I've been able to find so far. Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for that Dump Masamoto bio. That one's out too already. Oh, I thought it came out in October. No, that came out this month too. Wow. Ah. Friggin' sweet, dude. Yeah, Netflix is all in on the wrestling stuff, you know, between uh, the McMahon thing, the Matsumoto thing, and uh, Kaneko Man. Kaneko Man. Guess I could have climbed climbed down the ladder instead of breaking my legs. Oh, uh. my leg. oh no, my leg! Well, I, if I was a horse, I'd be short. Pretty much. I've been short in my spaghetti. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, did I, am I supposed to shoot it? Am I supposed to conduct with my penis? Exit! I'll, I'll just do that and then. Yay! Another level completed. Yay! Another level completed. Personnel located. Exiting security grid control area. We're entering the mines. What if Carl's Jr. and Hardy's actually merged together? What would their name be? Carl's Jr. <laughs> Carl's Jr. Carl's. Carl's. <laughs> there, there's the episode title. Carl's. Carl's. Carl these nuts. Carl these nuts. You <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head. That's my joke. I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's about time for a new weapon. Just dive under the floor for no reason, you dumb shit. You dumb son of a bitch. That dude strafed. Yeah. 
Aha, I got the jump on you assholes. It's very low tier enemies, considering. Hyper Blaster, a good weapon. Alright, let's find out where I'm supposed to go. Oh, apparently up there. Here's who! Fuck! Godzilla. Thank you. Godzilla. <laughs> it's non-denominational. Yeah, but there's still the word God in it. Don't I mean, matter. Technically, technically, when I say goblin, it's non-denominational because I'm not saying... I'm not actually saying God. Yeah, you're saying goblin. That's right. Which is, uh... It's uh, Ethiopian for uh, <laughs> feed me. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> you, ah, see, I knew it. I knew it. Never mind. Well, thank you for that. Oh no. Oh no. Why, 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 what is it? Coke Zero Oreo Slurpee. Huh? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about that one, Chief. And that's yeah. going to be a no from me, dog. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. I've, I actually got to taste both the Oreo Coke and the Coke Oreos. Coke, the Coke flavored Oreos are better. But they dried out my throat real bad because they had pop candy in them. The uh, Oreo flavored Coke isn't so bad. I've had better. But I don't know about the Slurpee. I think the Slurpee would just be gross. Yeah. I don't think I can get on board with that. Yeah, that's a no for me, dog. You, you are the perfect drug, the perfect drug. Oh. Fun fact from Colin Mockery. When the network realized how inexpensive Whose Line was to produce, they put it on against Friends and Survivor. It didn't do great in the ratings, but it still made money. Our whole show cost less than one friend. Hmm. Well, there you go. <coughs> That's why they made so many episodes. Yep. That's why they had, like, fucking 50, 60 episode seasons. But now, isn't... What was the last that last story that we were talking that they were talking about months ago? That the cast was leaving and I I don't know because they've they're actually they, I believe they just premiered a new season on CW. So as far as I'm aware, yeah, the show is still going. <laughs> but what isn't that from taping from like two years ago? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know either, man. Yeah. I guess, I guess theoretically, if you if you had leftover material, you could probably make new seasons. Forever. Yeah. I mean, that, that would go with any improv show that's formatted that way. If you had material that was left over, you could probably make two or three extra seasons of material out of it. Right? You can't be serious. 
I knew I knew that's what you were getting at. Yeah. You picking up what I'm putting sure. down? Yeah. <laughs> so far of course it's just giving me a waypoint and no directional arrows yeah. damn it get out of here you're in the wrong place there we go you're in the wrong you're in the wrong space Rocket launcher! When I mean, you're so far off course that the map's giving you Forrest Whitaker eye. <laughs> like how how on earth did this happen? Ouch. Note to self, do not use rockets in close proximity. Because if you do, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Fuck off. Give me a railgun already. The rocket launcher is nice, but I really, really want that ah. railgun. Give him a goddamn railgun. need that oh blue television games did a video on that uh, 12 year Mario hat. yeah I don't know the, having an oxygen meter I think that's a little uh, it's a little uh, fucking crazy <laughs> NWA Power is leaving the CW app on the same day that uh, NXT is debuting. Ah. It's ECW and WWE all over again. Yeah. Whoops. Screwed by the network. Although, I guess in this case, it really wasn't. They weren't screwed by the network. They were screwed by a line of cocaine. <laughs> I mean, supposedly, supposedly. Well, it was, wasn't that cocaine. Whole, well, they were snorting Ajax. Well, not even that. They they claimed that the whole cocaine thing wasn't. They were they pretty blew it out of proportion, is what I'm getting at. Well, at least according to Billy Corgan, anyway. Okay, so so it was the cocaine thing then. And he's just trying to cover it up. I don't know. Because the world <laughs> is a vampire. <laughs> Where's that? Where's that picture of Sam Jackson in the Where's that picture of Sam Jackson in the in the roller coaster? Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Mercedes Monet on the Vince McMahon Netflix documentary. All I know is I'm going to grab a blunt and get some wine, and I'm going to be watching some Netflix. I can't wait. So she's going to do coke and pot and, and watch the McMahon documentary? Nothing gets by you, Mike. 
It's basically, she just admitted to s snorting coke. She said, grab a blunt and get some wine. Yeah, a line, as in a line of coke. Wine. No, W-Y-N-E. Wine. A wine, I'm sorry. I thought you, you said, grab a coke and, and a wine, and a line. <laughs> you, you imbecile. Oi. It sounded like he said line, I'm sorry. You know I'm half deaf in one ear. That's why you, that's why you think we say the weirdest thing sometimes. I genuinely thought he said line, though. Dane, I genuinely thought you said I would have blow a giraffe. Mike, I said, how are you? <laughs> okay, let's not fucking go insane here. <laughs> Too late for that. I'm already insane! Oh. Woo! Uh, remember, our old beer and no TV make Homer go something something. Go crazy? No TV. No TV and no beer make Homer something something. Go crazy? Go crazy? Don't mind. Don't mind. Wow. 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 Here's Johnny. David Letterman. David Letterman. I'm Mike Brawless. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Orly Safe for all this and Andy Rooney tonight on 60 Minutes. Ah. Wasn't Grandpa Simpson in one of those uh, gags? Hi, David. I'm Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boy, you've got the shit in. Don't you mean the shine? No, sh you want to get sued? <laughs> oh my god! I I think that that is that is one of the best Treehouse of Horror episodes. No, my, don't read. Be we, reading my mind between four and five. That's well. It's time. <laughs> adrenaline, <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> I'm taking the adrenaline. I kind of liked the Nightmare on Elm Street with Willie as uh, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> don't touch Willie. <laughs> Good advice. Do not touch Willie. Yeah. Lousy smarch weather. Good lord, he's going towards the kindergarten class. Huh? I gotta be honest with you. I don't know much about the uh, later Trias of Horror episodes. Actually, well, uh, the Death Note one is uh, pretty good. The X-Men one? Uh, Death Note one. Oh. I didn't even know they actually, did it. Uh, they actually got the uh, animation studio from Japan to do that. I did not know that. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, culo. Oh, culo. Did you say oh, culo? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Just, just, just check. Oh, I gotta blow him up. Armor. Armor. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm supposed to go there, but it says access denied. What the fuck? Can't you just, uh, you know, do that thing where it was like that when you got here and you sort of cut through the wall? I might have to. That's... Alright. Almost. Almost. Edward James Almost. <laughs> okay. Oh. Drill! Yay, I made it to the platform. Where are we hey, going? I got so, according to a friend of mine, episode two of uh, the Vince McMahon uh, documentary is Dark Side of the Ring Steroids Trial Light. Interesting. Uh, episode one is Golden Age WWE 101 with interesting tidbits in between. A great digestible summary of that era for non wrestling fans. I mean, at this point, is there anything that we don't know about it, the story? Ah, piss! I, I don't know that there's an answer to that. Mm. Uh, Poopy water. I don't think. I am really starting to suspect that everything I'm saying is only coming through like 15 seconds later. No, I just have a fucking poor reaction time. Because I'm trying to play a video game. Oh, fine, view. Whoops. Squished. I was squished. Oh, well. Into the poopy water again. Not the poopy water. And there. 
<laughs> and and that's the ticket. And that's the end of that chat. And then let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead and use that adrenaline. Let's go ahead and oops. That's right. Let's go ahead and oops. <laughs> you, Stewie was an oopsie baby. Oopsie doodle. He's a broken condom. What's wrong with me? I think you're crazy. Want a second, want a second opinion? opinion? You're, you're all so lazy. He could talk, he could talk, he could talk, he could talk. I, I could sing, sing, I could sing. Ah, uh, Bill Hart. Ah, <sighs> legend. Ah, uh, Hill Fartman. Hey, you watch your filthy mouth. I did. I watched it say, Hill Fartman. Yay! Another level completed! Weird. Where in the world is Garden San Diego? Yeah, boom, 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 yeah, boom, 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 come on, come on, boom, 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 yeah. He's busy fucking wall now. Very true. The warrant. The warrant. Hey, hey, the warrant. Ooh, the cheese. Doom, 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 doom. I have you ready, Carol Channing. Uh, now, I play the chief. We're trying to find that pesky crook, Carmen San Diego. Would you like some raspberries? I'm so confused. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think I fucking stutter. I'm Carol Channing. And I'm the chief. From where in the world is Carmen Sandy? Do I have to fucking spell that for you, you cunt bag? Jesus. Don't Jesus me. <laughs> You're the one who's like, I'm so confused. All right, no need to be an ass clown. <laughs> and I'm not an ass clown. Uh huh. You know, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm just. If you think I'm an ass clown? No, you didn't do anything, Tane. It was Carol Channing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Dane, you're all right. You. Oh. Uh... Um, yes. Did y'all hear about the new uh, uh, Lake of Dragon game coming out? The new what coming out? Uh, Yakuza game. No, I actually did not hear about that. So, Lake of Dragon, Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii. Okay. Interesting. Featuring Samoa Joe. Really? 
Yep, Samoa Joe yeah. will be in the game. Now, would you say that Samoa Joe is fat? <laughs> Samoa Joe, be fat. <laughs> no simpy. Get, get fat. Ass. Hallelujah. Oh my god. You're so, out of control. You are Would you rather? Control. Would you rather? Yes. Cheer for the Dallas Cowboys. Or, or I'll, I'll take whatever I'll take whatever the second I was say I'll take whatever the second thing is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Or spend a night at a ditty party. Uh, uh, I think I would do for the Cowboys. <laughs> I'll cheer for the Cowboys. I just imagine everybody in the world putting on cowboy hats right now. Go Dak Prescott. Yay. Go, Daddy Prescott. What? Dak Prescott. <laughs> Go, Daddy.com Prescott. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going to take this discussion about P. Diddy Party seriously. <laughs> Listen. No discussion about P. Darty, dear Darty, fucking fucking D. Whatever. <laughs> P. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can transcribe that. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Do your worst. <laughs> Yeah. I put it in the Discord chat. Every different fucking time. Go, whatever. Fucking. Whatever. With Umats over the A. Hey, I, already, I finally picked up slugs. Means I'm gonna get a railgun here soon, I think. Put the slugs down, they're slimy and gross. Just like P. Diddy. Yeah, yeah with all the yeah. baby oil he had lying around. Nobody. Nobody has that much. Nobody needs that much baby oil. I'll tell you what. Listen, if he goes to jail, can I just have all of his money? Because I'm sure I can use it better than he can. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Why would you want his money? Because I'm it's poor! Dirty... It's probably dirty, poopy money. I, it's all it's money is... All money is dirty, poopy money, Dane. <laughs> you mean... You mean to tell me that People are putting money up their a-holes? Yeah. That's hard. It's a thing that happens. All there is no all money is pretty pretty dirty if you think about it. If you analyze what's on a dollar bill, you'd probably be pretty surprised to find what's on there. It's not it's not yeah, pleasant. Uh, come, come globules. Probably. Oh. Cum, cum droplets, cocaine residue. No. No, we can't be. Please say it's foul. Boob sweat. No. <laughs> no, please. 
Next, you'll be telling me eat, uh, armpit juice. Possibly. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Each. Holy crap, that is weird. What's that? They were holding a rodeo at a mall? Oh my god, that that bull just charged in the into the orange Julius. Yeah, no, like I'm I'm reading this uh this this thing here, this uh press release. Uh would like to provide an update on the events on our property uh, from September 22nd. The south lot of our mall was leased to the rodeo festival for a safe and family friendly one day event. The event was fully permitted by the town of North Attleboro and was insured by the event operators. But due to an unforeseen situation among the animals, a pin on the pen holding the bulls was broken, which led to seven bulls escaping into the North Attleboro and Attleboro areas. With the swift response and coordination of local police and fire departments and support from the New, uh, New England Rodeo and the event operators, all animals were safely captured and returned to the owner without harm. We are grateful to report that no injuries to people or animals occurred and no property damage was reported. Ah, dear, oh dear. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. That's so random, like a freaking rodeo on mall property. Oh no. That was bull. Those bulls went into that Bed Bath & Beyond store. Hope they don't go into the Beyond section. Ah, oh. oh, here are the coffee oh. mugs. Oh no, the, the bulls have escaped to the Sears section. Oh, that's all right, there's nobody in there anymore. <laughs> Oh no, the bulls went to the Kong dog stand. They thought they were actual dogs. Oh no, the bulls gored JD Vance. He was in the Love Sack ship store. Love Sack. <laughs> oh There's my a, god. It's like a stylish couch place. Oh. Yep. Oh no, JD Vance was at Ashley Furniture. Oh, these. These couches feel good on my wiener. Uh, I, I mean, eggs. These eggs feel good on my wiener. Sorry, everybody. My sons eat 14 good, eggs a day. Feel good on my wiener. Wait, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> okay, I think, I think Mike Riley has to go. I, I am home. <laughs> Oh, I think Mike Riley has to leave um, just to go back home. <laughs> Why? What Why? Why do? Because you said something weird. Everything I say is weird. A.K.A. you pulled an Ashley Miller. What? You pulled an Ashley Miller. No, I did. No need to fill her. <laughs> Ashley Wanker, no need to thank her. Ah. <laughs> Why? The one goddamn funny joke a month she says, and it's wasted on everybody.
I don't know what the hell. Exit. Yay! <sighs> oh. Primary objective, infiltrate and destroy my anus. No. Pennsylvania. Infiltrate and destroy Pennsylvania? Wow, that's a little extreme. My, my anus, Pennsylvania. Oh. Oh. You meant the town. Or, or my anus, Connecticut. Surely, surely such a place doesn't exist. It does, and don't call me Shirley. Boom. There's an earth shattering oh. kaboom. Negative 31 health? Don't question it. I'm questioning it. Don't quit. Don't turn. Mike.exe at stop. Oh, down here. I see. Oh, that's armor. That's metal as fuck, dude! Oh, boob woman. Oh, boobola! Hold on. Do 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 the infamous, do the infamous fucking idol animation that you do. I know you do it. What? There's an idol anim animation she does where she acts where she jiggles one of her boobs. Wait. Yep, there it was. All right, now I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys can finish this episode with your goddamn notes. Boobola, 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 Kinda hard to worship tits in the house of the Lord. Without being frowned I, upon like tremendously. I, I prefer worshiping titties. Titties. T I D T I D D Y S. Praise Boobala. Praise be to Boobala. I had a key I didn't even know I had. Well, that's great. Well, I dunked him right down that hole. That was interesting. Uh, he go down the hole. He did. Oh, am I supposed to go down there? Guess I am. Now go right back up. Ah. Uh, going in here. And uh, this is where we're going to have to uh, stop for the day. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane and for Joan and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>